We learned a lot more about his version of the February 14th meeting, which Director Comey characterized one way, and General Sessions had a different recollection of it. Well, depending on who you ask, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, sworn testimony today with either very informative or just a bunch of stonewalling. His testimony and the so-called cloud hanging over the White House all go back to Russian meddling in the presidential election. And tonight, CBS News has learned it was far worse than the American public knew. Certain states were specifically targeted, including Florida. Lawmakers trying to get to the bottom of what the Trump team knew, when they knew it, and whether they worked at all with the Russian hack trying to help Donald Trump win the election. And the suggestion that I participated in any collusion, that I was aware of any collusion with the Russian government to hurt this country, which I have served with honor for 35 years, or to undermine the integrity of our democratic process is an appalling and detestable lie. I have never met with or had any conversation with any Russians or any foreign officials concerning any type of interference with any campaign or election in the United States. Mr. Comey said that there were matters with respect to the recusal that were problematic and he couldn't talk about them. What are they? I, that, why don't you tell me? They are none, Senator Wyden. There are none. I can tell you that for absolute certainty. Mr. Chairman, I'm not able to comment on conversations with uh, uh, high officials within the White House. I am protecting the right of the president to exert it, uh, assert it if he chooses. You're impeding this investigation. I uh, am not stonewalling. Some of the key moments from earlier today. And there has been talk that the president is thinking about firing Robert Mueller, the special counsel. Well, tonight, a White House spokeswoman says the president has the right but no intention to actually do it.